Hello everyone, and welcome to my first review. Today I'm going to be talking about Halo, the Master Chief Collection. So let's begin by describing what this game is. Halo, the Master Chief Collection, is the complete saga of the Master Chief, the Xbox icon. Except for Halo 5, but that's a talk for another day. From Halo CE to Halo 4. This game when it comes to a single player as well. The pinnacle of single player AAA games. Each Halo game gives you different feelings and experiences. There is something that all of them share. It's Halo 5 of course, what a surprise. A sense of imminent global danger. And what I mean by this is that there is a very great threat in every single Halo game. And you get the feeling of stopping whatever that danger is. Call it the Covenant, call it the Dider. And, at least for me, is a welcome feeling that empowers the story. Each story is playing in every Halo game from Halo CE to Halo 4 has that sense and enriches the story with its characters that have a purpose. As an example, Sergeant Johnson's is the kind of relief around the keys, the danger teller, and so on. When it comes to gameplay, 60 frames per second are very welcome. It has an arena type gameplay with only two weapons instead of a menu with all the weapons you had, which were tough back then. This mechanic became fundamental in all the FPS's that came after Halo. Medium paced movement and even dual wielding in Halo 2 and 3. Enemies were classified in equals to the player and, of course, cannon fodder. As an example, elites and grunts. When it came to difficulty, you had easy, normal, heroic and legendary. It's difficulty balanced to perfection, except Halo 2 on Legendary. <coughs> Sniper Jackal. And that, my friends, concludes gameplay and single player. Now let's move to multiplayer. Master Chief Collection's multiplayer is well. Broken. Matchmaking is low. And I have personally problems with lag. And my connection is actually pretty good. I'm not sure why I have those problems. But once you get into multiplayer, you instantly feel like why Halo is Halo on multiplayer. Same mechanics that I talked about before. And it retains that Halo feeling you get from playing old games, except Halo 4. Thank you, 343, 4 well, whatever. To conclude, Halo the Master Chief Collection is a good game, if you're gonna play single player. But if you're playing multiplayer, just don't waste money on this game and go play Halo 3 because it's backwards compatible. Wait, do you thought I will end this video without talking about Forge? One of the best features in this franchise? Well, I'm not. Fuck you. Now, for real. <laughs> uh, let's go over this real quick. Forge is a tool for map creation using developer created maps as base for the construction. And the only limit is, well, your imagination. You can host custom Forge games like races, role-playing, etc. And in the Master Chief Collection you've got all Halo Forges, except for Halo CE. So, if you're into this, you've come to the right place. And this concludes, my friends, this review. Hope you guys enjoy it. Drop a like if you liked it. Subscribe. And, well, yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.